Hey folks, okay, let's try this again. Um, Code.org dashboard. When you, as a teacher, sign in and you've been verified as a teacher, you get this dashboard, which is really cool. So we can add new sections. These are the sections. These names typically come. I use um, Google Classroom, so these names come from there and you can change them. The grade, when you're, and I'll demonstrate how to make a section, comes, uh, you select that, that gives them some data as to how well they're doing with what grade. Over here shows the course you've selected, the number of students that come from Google Classroom. You can modify it here too. Um, login info, Google Classroom. I use that for login. You get a little gear over here too. The gear lets you edit the section details. You can view the student progress, manage students. We'll, we'll come back here. So again, in the prior video, you should have investigated and determined that you like some particular course. Some of the courses have more than one language, like you know, Spanish is a popular one. So I typically try to go for an older one uh, for Spanish. So let's take a look. I selected, we're gonna create a new course. Picture logins are for the little kids. You know, there's like ghosts and happy faces. They, they allocate this for you and gives you, give you some printout sheets. You hand them to the kids and it works great. Words. Um, personal logins for like if you're doing a summer camp or something like that and they all have different whatever's emails Google Classroom I use Google Classroom so I select that I select my class and um, yeah we'll just go with that and it picks for my Google Classroom that's where they came it came from because I'm signed in so we have Miss Ariel I give them a grade for example for their own thing I select my course I've predetermined that I want computer science fundamentals course C which is I'm not sure 20 hours or something now here's the thing I over here when I select version I get a choice three languages you're almost guaranteed that, that second language is going to be you know one is going to be English the second one's probably going to be Spanish the third one I don't know um, some of these have a multitude of languages I mean a lot for the little kids because they're easy to translate um, so I typically will choose a lesson some lessons are English only so in my case that's real tricky enable lesson extras that's your bonus stuff you know the fast students will get through and you know give them something extra to do pair programming them let's say you only have you know one computer per two kids uh, students you know you can select pair programming I don't use it but uh, it does work great apparently and I say save so I've just uh, created a class where is it Ms. Ariel it's this one um, add students my students could come from um, Google Classroom uh, there's a parent letter that you can do for student privacy if you're interested but if it's connected to Google Classroom properly like she's one of the other teachers who um, has some ELL students and it's not really set up the students would just come directly over so let's take a look at so we're back to our dashboard anytime you want to get to the dashboard come up here to the upper left hand corner and click code.org and it takes you back to your dashboard um, now then I'm going to take a peek at let's see this particular group of students I want to view my student progress so again we can you know do this stuff so this is the most important thing you can go with this at your leisure now I can see here that this student has done nothing this student is trying really hard but not completing each lesson this student is going through and doing the lessons this student actually these two guys sit next to each other and do fairly well and so on and so forth so forth so you get all of this and you can totally manage what's going on uh, if there are any text responses they show up in here assessments and surveys that you're able to see projects um, they can do projects over here you get some stats you know completed how many levels and we can manage the students over here we can um, for example we can edit a student and that gives us a chance you know you, there for some students will change their name to something ridiculous and you can't tell who it is so you you can go in there and change it and that is pretty much um, how we use the dashboard and this again is a wonderful tool you can you can use you can go through an entire year um, let's just go back here course catalog uh, computer science fundamentals you can you can make this anywhere from one hour to stretch it out to nearly a year 
computer science discoveries I use this in middle school for the full year you can use this easily in the ninth grade for a full year of learning and computer science principles also that can be you can do a semester you can do up to a full year thank you